defense, 10 yard penalty from the spot foul where we play first down. Big penalty here as once again, Greenville trying to stop Anderson County from scoring. And I think you've got to pin your ears back. I do, I, you got to come after them. I mean, you can't sit back. Yeah, I agree. Almost halfway through the third quarter, 21-7 Mavericks. Well, and that's what's working against Greenville more than anything is the clock. I mean. If you had told me after Greenville went straight down the field, 68 yards to score first drive of the game, that we'd still be at seven, well, I'd be surprised. Nice pass across the middle, Eli Braden. First down in 22, a pickup down to the 13, 14 yard line. He's second down in 13. One of the Green Devils down on the field. Looks like he's cramping. But they'll also be on the road tomorrow night at South Carolina. But a lot of tailgating is still going to go on. Think of Food City, Pepsi, and Frito-Lay is your tailgating headquarters. Place that order online at foodcity.com. We will have you covered and have you ready for a great tailgating experience. I think Tennessee is two wins away from being a part of the college football playoff, but is it that simple? It's never that simple. But all you can do is take care of your own stuff. I just think that the resume, especially if Ohio State beats Michigan, if Michigan has one loss and Tennessee has one loss and TCU has still run the table, the resumes between those two, and we'll talk about it Sunday night on the locker room, connected by Iris Networks, 10.35 in Knoxville, 11 p.m. on Fox in Tri-Cities, and 10.30 p.m. on Fox in Nashville. I just don't think the resume of the loser of Michigan, Ohio State, measures up to the resume of Tennessee at one loss. No, especially if it's Michigan. Ohio State, because they've been the perceived top one or two teams in the country all year, I'm not sure. Martinez rolls right, timing pattern. Third, 13. They can technically get a first down inside the one. Now, Koa winning now 56 to 14. Daniel Boone did score a touchdown on Ooh. the backups. It's 49 to 7. Yeah, West has put their backups in. Ooh. Martinez tonight, 16 of 19, 215 yards, a couple touchdowns. Not bad for the senior quarterback. It would be a 31 yard field goal attempt from here. Delay of game on Anderson County. Check that. Oh, delay of game, offense, five yard penalty, still third down. That could be big because it'd be a 36 yard field goal. Yeah, and I mean, right now, any kind of yards would shorten the field goal attempt. Three points makes it a three score game. Two for five on third down. Okay, I'm being told Anderson County will not kick a field goal. Third down and 18 at the 19. Martinez looks to throw. Throws for the back a beautiful corner. Throw, of the end beautiful zone. throw. Oh, he almost had it. Almost makes the grab. As Braden Miller was there, so here's decision time. Fourth down and 18, and they will send the field goal unit on the field. So much for the Richie No Sports Network's accuracy. That was a great throw by Martinez. <laughs> it was a dime. They'll put the football down at the 26. It'll be a 36-yard field goal attempt. Did you make it a three-possession game? Off the right leg of Chris Nelson. 
36 yards away. Kick is up. It has the distance. Is it through? Well, that's big. 24-7, Mavericks with the lead. Now up three possessions. That a big three points. But congratulations as Commercial Bank salutes the stripes. John Cook, a referee, 41 seasons officiating, retiring this season. He was the AF Bridges official of the year in 2008 by TWSAA. And our thanks to John Cook for his years of service. With it appears, the Gibbs Eagles in the background. But time now for the Knoxville Smile Cam, brought to you by KnoxvilleSmiles.com. And the smiles are the Greenville Devils cheerleaders. Be by my dentist, Dr. Stephen Malone, Michael Costa. Learn more at KnoxvilleSmiles.com. Good news and bad news for Greenville. They only give up three points after the fumble at the 11-yard line. Bad news is a three possession lead now to 17 point deficit. Lipscomb on uh, up on Webb 27 to 7. Oakland now leads Blackman 14 to 9. All right, thanks to the Keith Bennett Sports Network. Al of 36 to 13. We'll stretch that one out. <laughs> we'll see you at Powell next week. Yeah, in all seriousness, by the way, Ella's off on a dove hunting trip, so uh, Ella's not here tonight to run out and grab the tea. If there were a Vegas line, and I know you're against this, you can roll your eyes at me, and there yeah, it is. I'm not against it. No, I'm against it. No. You're against it. West and no, Powell. No, no, no. You wouldn't do it. No. You wouldn't do it. Okay. No. Okay. All right. I'm just asking. We're doing the game next week. You know, the line on the game. It's one thing to do with some non-area team. First down and 10. 6.06 in the third quarter. If you're a golfer, you'll understand the phrase, Greenville is out of mulligans. And that Maverick defensive front has been stout, a gain of three yards. I'll go, they've got to birdie their last four holes here if they're gonna <laughs> force a playoff. There's no laying up anymore. Yeah. Go, 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 go. Again, I just don't know if they're built like they were when when, when Ballard was in here, they could just they could literally throw, 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 and, and, and Quillen throws it throws it solid. But you're talking you know. Ballard, the quarterback, not Ballard, the coach. Yeah, correct. Okay. Um, you don't have Quillen looks to throw, and is this one intercepted? They're fighting over the football. Who's got it? And there's the interception. A battle for the football that is won by Anderson County. And in years past, on those 50-50 plays, they've all gone the way of Greenville or Elizabethan. Tonight, they appear to be going the way of the Mavericks. Mason Laws comes out. That the fourth turnover of the night. That's Jermaine Allen. Laws and Allen are battling for the ball. And Allen looked like he, well, wow, he does have it. That's a great play. Yeah. In real time, I thought Laws had got it. But once you went back and watched the, the different angle, definitely Allen. By the way, if I'm Anderson County, you're going for the jugular. I'm going for the jugular. Yeah, I would too. I've done that same out that corner route you threw a minute ago to straight out of the turnover they'll go to the ground to Gavin no Gavin will cut back inside inside the 25 winner of this will go to Red Bank as the flag is down at the 30 two minutes to go Red Bank is up 28 to 6 That's one. holding offense number 75 10 our penalty for the spot foul will replay first down four turnovers by Greenville tonight 
If Eddie Spradlin's team has played clean all year long, not so much tonight. It looks like five yards will be given straight back. Anderson County, five penalties in the second half. Greenville now with 10 on the game. Dead ball, encroachment, defense, five yard penalty. We're still first down. Big Ty Williams, the senior. 6'4, 290. First down and 18, Martinez feels some pressure, throws this one off his back foot and out of bounds. And once again, the last five years, whoever comes out of here in the quarterfinal, four out of those five times has been the state champion. The only time it didn't happen was a year ago when Elizabethan lost in overtime in the Blue Cross. It's Bowl. Oklahoma. Second and 18, Martinez feels some pressure. Has a receiver across the middle. Catch is made. Touchdown. Right across the middle to Eli Brayton for 35 yards. And the Mavericks are opening things up. That right there was uh, fireworks right in your living room from that drone. <laughs> yeah, I think Scotty Liston, who operates the drone, is like, whew, that was too close for comfort. Get out of there, Scotty. Look at the pass. That was a rope, man. And, and, and say goodnight to the Green Devils. Anderson County he is moving on. Yep. You could have said, how do you see this game playing out? I could have told you probably four or five different ways. This was not one of them. Not to the point where it's, Greenville can't score. I'm just, you know, great job by the Anderson County defense. They come up with big turnovers tonight. Offensively, it's been a great show from Walker Martinez. Martinez, who again has a shot to be a Mr. Football winner, will be the second one in school history. Uh, Justin Price being the other one. And, you know, he, he's playing like Mr. Football tonight. He is thrown it unbelievable his receivers have been really really good and he'll be a part of the commercial bank rivalry showcase coming up on december 10th seven o'clock right here on his home field yeah i guess some great players in that game great quarterbacks uh, for east tennessee walker martinez as you talked about zach lunsford the quarterback at alcoa those are the two quarterbacks uh, for east tennessee jordan potts over at uh, powell uh, will be one of the quarterbacks uh, along with chandler wilson of carter uh, for Knoxville. Knoxville won this game a year ago, 20 to 13. By the way, Holly Martinez, who is the uh, dance and cheer coach here at Anderson County, is working to set up the dance and cheerleader portion of that. If you're a part of a dance team or a cheerleader team, make sure you contact Holly Martinez and uh, be a part of that. I think the girls are all getting together for dinner, all the teams getting together. Be a lot of fun for the girls that night. It, 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 you know, this game kind of feels like 95 Tennessee, Alabama. Like, you couldn't get over the hump, you couldn't get over the hump, you couldn't get over the hump, and then when you finally did, you blew them out. You know, yeah. what, I'm, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, it just kind of has that feel to it. And Greenville just doesn't seem like they have much of an answer. Uh, offensively, they've not been able to get much going since that first drive. 31-7 now, it was 21-7 at the half. And this is a spot that the Green Devils has simply not been in this year. They're 12-0, they've been untested, and they have been absolutely punched in the mouth tonight by the Mavericks. Brady Quillen, the quarterback, looks to throw. Nice pressure there. Nice sportsmanship. Now those are two guys that were getting into it earlier in the game and now they're you know helping each other up if you're right A nice job by eli davis in his coverage quillen is o for his last five it's second down and ten
Quillen will look to throw, gets pressure, and is taken down quickly. Andrew Meyer, the senior. It'll be third and 10 now. I mean, it's, it's amazing if you think about it, since that first drive of the game for Greenville, once again, went 68 yards straight down the field like a hot knife through butter, and you thought, okay, this is like those Greenville Anderson County games we've seen in the past. Yep. Where Greenville just dominated, and since then, 31 nothing Anderson County. Quillen looking to throw, throws this one across the middle. Catch is made. Big hit at the 45, but Mason Laws hangs on for a first down. He's feeling it. But Laws had to hang on to that one. Greenville to have any chance of a comeback and he knew it and he knew the shot was coming Cole Phillips Mason Laws with 84 yards receiving tonight that was a big one his fifth catch of the night I wonder what part of Laws it is. He's kind of stepping around. Three fifty-two to go. Our thanks again to Ann at One Day Signs and Banners, and to JP over there. Can't tell you how many times I get a message from somebody that says, "Hey." Give me that number for one day signs and banners. It's 865 525 5474. They handle all of our signs for our great sponsors down on the field. By the way, Monday, TSSAA at 2 p.m. announces they release the schedules for next football season. First and 10 at the 48. Quill and roll and right. A flag comes in for a hold, so this one's coming back. Pretty easy call there. Offense number 62, senior our penalty post five foul. We play first down. Anderson County's got after him. Spot foul takes it more than 10 yards back. It'll be a second and or first and 23. That's 11 penalties on Greenville for over 100 yards. 106. First down and forever. Quillen looks to throw. Catch is made out at the 45 yard line. A tight window. A little bit of talking as Ajante Dabs makes the catch. That's his first catch tonight. And that and that puts him in a tough spot. You know, he was kind of getting held up, and when you got one of those tender ankles, they're kind of diving at your ankles late. It's not exactly a position you really want to be in as he comes off the field. Dabs going to be playing in the uh, rivalry showcase. Be three weeks, I would expect he would be healed up by then. Second down and about 14. Quillen gets some pressure running for his life and flat runs out of time and space. Greenville coach is screaming for a face mask or horse collar or something. It could have been could have been a horse collar. No, he didn't get his hand up in there though. It was a little bit of join. Five for eight on third down, although this one is a third down and 18. Well, Anderson County has literally been dominant tonight. Yes. And a 
stoppage comes Delay of game here. on Greenville. Break him up five more yards. 12 penalty of the night. 12, 12 for penalties for 111. Third down and 23. Quillen gets pressure, sets up a screen. There is nothing set up there at all. Mavericks were all over that one. That'll make it fourth down and I have to punt. I mean, they have no choice. It's fourth down and 21, 21 yards. Fourth and Hoskins Drugstore in Clinton. <laughs> that was nice. Impressive. To the Anderson County, County Faithful. Appreciate you mentioning downtown Clinton. Everybody goes to Hoskins. Fourth down and 21. And the punt will die down at the 33. Valley E2 Sports congratulates Gavin No. Great photo, great GPA. 4.1 GPA. Doing it on the field and in the classroom. Brought to you by E2 Sports, the official apparel provider of Rivalry Thursday, Playoff Friday, and the Rivalry Showcase. There's my E2Sports.com. Uh, well, my sincere thanks to them. They're providing all of the jerseys to all of the players in the Rivalry Showcase. My E2Sports.com. Under a minute to go third quarter. And now you'd be surprised if you get anything other than running the clock out and they'll throw. Flag comes in. Walker Martinez will go down and yep. flag comes in. I mean, that's terrible. I mean, like, why did I just don't know? Like, he slid and he dove his helmet at it. I mean, they were going to. Jalen Sharp. I think the phrase that's terrible should be saved simply for that West Elk <laughs> Well, I mean, your team was going to get a penalty against Anderson County here for holding. Do you realize that if Anderson County scores a touchdown, and maybe that's it's a running clock. It's a running, it's a running clock. clock, yeah. Zach Nelson over here. Maryville advances on 35 14. Yeah. Holding offense number 75, 10 yard penalty for the spot of foul. And we got a dead ball, personal foul, late hit on the defense, be 15 yards. To be replay, be still first down. I think we're the only game going. Every game's over, except for us. Forty three seconds to go in the third quarter. Thirty eight fourteen Miracle the final score by the way. First down and eleven clock runs. Martinez pass across the middle. Bryson Val into the secondary, makes a little move, turns on the burners down the sideline and out of bounds inside the 25. Pretty nifty little run for the senior. A little stop and a start. Turn on the Jets. And the Mavericks are knocking on the door. Watch the move right here. Right there, zip. 51 yards on the uh, catch and run. 20 seconds to go in the quarter. Touchdown here in the fourth quarter could be a quick one. Martinez looks to throw. Catch is made at the five-yard line. That is just stealing. Having <laughs> the back shoulder throw in hey, high school. Blowing kisses. 
Watch what's essentially a back shoulder throw. I mean. Looks like Lipscomb has won 37 to 7 over Webb. That ends the career for Dave Meske, although he will be the head coach for Knoxville. A little reverse here, oh. drop the football. Myers is on it. will come up with it. Anderson County out here running reverses. And the clock continues to run, and then they'll stop it at one-tenth of a second. I think a reverse there might have been a tad bit much. Just kind of pitched it back, but there he is again, Bryson Myers, who's a junior. That will take us to the end of the third quarter. Anderson County just 12 minutes away from advancing on to a state championship game, 21 to seven over Greenville. Playoff Friday is brought to you by Commercial Bank, Humana, E2 Sports, and OEB Law. Community banking is about location and much more. It's about family. We reside in your community. We are a part of your community. At Commercial Bank, our commitment extends beyond the walls of our branches. It's displayed each day in the opportunities we provide, the money we give back, and the time we commit, all to help improve the lives of the people, families, and businesses that make our communities great. Commercial Bank, life made better. Hi, I'm State Farm Agent Scotty Dykes. While the insurance industry has changed over the years, our office offers auto, home, life, mortgages, and many other banking services, including retirement planning. So please give our office a call, text us, or email us, and we'll be happy to do business with you. Hi, I'm Dr. Michael Costa. Dr. Malone and I here at Knoxville Smiles are here to help you with any of your dental needs, whether it's a routine cleaning, a root canal, or if you just want some advice. Did you know that you don't have to settle for a denture anymore? My team and Dr. Malone are here to help you no matter where you're at and to help you figure out the truth for your dental health. So give us a call or visit our website at KnoxvilleSmiles.com. Matlock Tire has a reputation for being a little bit old school. We're proud to be known for our outstanding hometown customer service. We've been doing things that way for over 60 years. But Matlock now offers new modern conveniences, such as family-friendly waiting areas, online appointment scheduling. You can even shop for tires and see our current stock right from your computer or smartphone. We invite you to stop into one of our five convenient locations or come see us online at matlocktireservice.com. Modern convenience, hometown service. Matlock Tire Service and Auto Repair. Hi, my name is Steve Shelton, Managing Principal with First Choice Lending Services. Right now, the housing market in Tennessee can be challenging, and you need the right lender to help you walk through it. We're a local lender. We're part of your community, and we know how to best serve you. When you get a home loan with First Choice Lending, you'll get a loan that is customized just for you. If you need help getting approved for a home loan, please give one of our experienced loan officers a call today. At the fourth quarter is brought to you by Hillary Frost Homes of Keller Williams. Your chance to win lunch with the Vols? Go online to hillaryfrosthomes.com. You can register there, somebody. And we will announce it uh, Sunday night, December the 4th, on the Locker Room Show. Someone with three friends will have lunch with the Vols. And our thanks to Spire Sports for their partnership on that as well. Brady Quillen looking to throw across the middle, and is that interception he made? It dropped it. Eli Davis laying out. Look for a second like he might have it. The one thing that's lost here, you know, and especially for Anderson County, is that this is the last time they'll play on this field for these seniors because you know, they're on the road next week and then championship game for Chattanooga. Yep. Last time they'll run out to the fireworks. Brady Quillen looking to throw. Overthrows his receiver. Take a look at the stats. Talk about OEB Law. Now they separate a little bit. Time of possession doesn't really mean much because Anderson County scored rather quickly. 
and got the football in great field position to score. 365 yards of total offense. Third down and 10 at the 12 yard line. Quillen looking to throw, steps up. The receiver falls down and the pass is incomplete. I don't see any flags out there. And Greenville will send out the punting team. Fourth down at the 11 yard line. And the Mavs are indeed rolling towards the semifinal. Fair catch made back at the 41. Well, the new name in recruiting is Recruit Me, partnering up with D1 for the Recruit Me Showcase Combine. If you're an athlete, seventh through 12th grade, you're gonna have an opportunity to show your stuff and all of the key testing that you do at a combine on Sunday, December the 4th at D1. Take a shot of the QR code there, Recruit Me. Don't make the colleges do the research on you, hand them the research paper. Are you throwing downfield to get to a 30 point nonstop clock or are you running the clock? Which one gets me out of here faster? <laughs> Tackle is made at the 40 yard line. Well, I want to thank again and our reads across America to the Green Tornado for helping us come up with $2,000 tonight, the donation made, and I can't thank him enough. I'll simply call him the Green Tornado. Martinez rolls left. Catch is made over on the sideline to Eli Braden. Yeah, he really worked hard, by the way, on uh, helping us come up with $2,000 and our, our thanks to him. Along with CJ of TriStar tailgating, Justin of Vol Navy, and every tailgater that was at Calhoun's on the river, over $2,000 to Rees across America. And the Alcoa football team is gonna be out there again this year on that day in December where they put Rees on the gravestones of all of our veterans, 18,000. Martinez pumps. Throws this one on the sideline, and is that cut again? I mean, one more time. Oh, what a night. What a night Bryson Bowles having. The senior tonight, 139 yards receiving on nine catches. Old twinkle toes. You wouldn't answer my question earlier, so I'm going to ask it in a different way. Can Powell beat West? Yeah, I can beat him. Moog off right tackle. Moog into the secondary inside the 30, inside the 25, inside the 20, down inside the 10 just that quickly. And Anderson County knocking on the door, 36 yards that looked like it'd be a short run. It turned into a long one. Just really good blocking up front. Bow down, he's caught somebody tonight. He also has a key block, key block right there. To help spring Moog. And for the second straight possession, they're inside the 10. That's the longest run on the ground for Anderson County. This one pays off for six points. The fireworks up in the air, and who would have figured we would hit a non-stop running clock tonight as the Mavericks go up by 30. Gavin No off right tackle, diving over defenders and into the end zone. 
And officially, Gavin No knows we are moving on. We being Anderson County. On to Red Bank. Extra point is up. It is good. Let's take a break. 38 to 7. Mavericks rolling towards the semifinals. And when I say rolling, I mean rolling no style. Well, they are celebrating here at Anderson County as the Mavericks officially know that they are moving on thanks to Gavin. No. 38 to 7. No with the touchdown there. You know, we have been here at times where the shoe was on the other foot. Anderson County, boy, what a celebration they'll have tonight to finally get over this hump. Out to the 34-yard line. I want to congratulate our fan of the night tonight. With some loyal supporters watching the game online at RivalryThursday.com. That's sponsored by Chiropractic Care Center. Spreading the love across the whole state of Tennessee. That one goes to Mr. Marty Cooper, one of our good friends, good listeners in the mid-state. Congratulations, Marty, our fan of the night. Handoff right up the middle for three yards. And the clock will run. What was the final pal, Oak Ridge? You know, I didn't see the final score. I have to look that up. Brady pulling, following blockers. By the way, Oakland is now up on Blackman, 21 to nine. That from the Keith Bennett Sports Network. I'm sure if he if he heard us. Send an update on that, although I'm sure we can find it. A lot of celebrating going on at Anderson County.
First down and 10 at the 44. Quillen throws this one out to Dabbs. Dabbs follows blockers and his second catch of the night. Will just jump forward to the 50 yard line. Second down and four right at midfield. Clock at eight minutes to go in this football game. Quillen will keep this one and pick up three yards, and he's chopped down at the 47-yard line. Bring up a third down and one. Six for nine on third down, third and one. And off right up the middle, they'll get the first down. And the clock will continue to run, obviously. Damian Short on the run. Disappointing night, obviously, for Eddie Spradlin and the Greenville Green Devils. Powell. Officially wins 43 13. First down and 10 at the 44. Willen would keep it himself up to the down to the 40 yard line, excuse me. Well, we can go ahead and tell you between plays where we will be the night after Thanksgiving. Call it Black Friday on OEB Playoff Friday, brought to you by Pilot Company. It'll be the West Rebels at defending 5A state champion Powell. Well, to be the man, you're going to beat the man. The man has been Powell. They are still defending their crown, and West will need to beat the man. You know, you talk about a team that's kind of Know, in your head a little bit. Greenville's been in Anderson County's head and Anderson County overcoming that tonight. It's been kind of the same thing over the last few years for yeah. Powell and West just a little See, bit. See, I wouldn't say that because the last time they played in the playoffs, West won and then lost to Central. What, did they not play last year in the semifinal? Did they? Powell, Powell drilled them. It was like 28 to nothing. We did that game on TV. Was it last year? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it was at West. Now, Lamar Brown's got the team this year. There's no question. Fouls on uh, 10 wins in a row off after starting 0 2. They're down in one. They'll keep it on the ground right up the middle. Down to the 25. Nine yards. So, going off that, West had their season end to Powell last year. Two years ago, it was Oak Ridge. The year before that, they beat Powell. And had it into Central. Right. Okay. The good news is, whether it's the Greenville people, I guess it's the Greenville people, there are a lot of cars falling out of this parking lot right now. <laughs> but if you're not, if you're trying to get out, you're going to be able to. <laughs> yeah, there are a lot of people have left and are headed home. If Scotty's up, that'd be a great drone shot. It'll look like the reverse of the Field of Dreams because instead of the white headlights, it'll be the red taillights. I don't know. That's a little sad to me. We're talking about these high school kids that have given their, their heart and soul out here and leaving a little bit early on the high school. I just think it's different if you're at Neyland Stadium. And it's 38-7. Maybe not. Second down and seven at the 23-yard line. Ball. Anderson County's got it. Anderson County gets the fumble recovery. Is back. And OAB Law is excited for a season full of big hits and those nail-biting ear misses. If you've been injured, OEB Law will come to your defense. Call OEB Law and turn your wreck into a check.
So Anderson County gets the football as Davey Gillum makes his way out of the press box and uh, got a uh, slap on the back on the way by. Just to make sure we were alive and well. Well, if we weren't, we were going to be a, we were going to be awake. <laughs> he, he didn't quite he didn't hit me quite as hard as as uh, Eli Davis with the spear earlier, but. Was right up there. Could have easily been the Joe Newber collision of the week on most weeks. <laughs> <laughs> it really, really could have been. It's bad enough that I may have to go to uh, Chiropractor Care Center and uh, get an adjustment after this game. I'm telling you, the checks of the darn mail for the sponsorship tonight. I'm just telling you. Five Greenville turnovers tonight. Astutely pointed out by my mother. Oh, nice. Some people may be going home to thaw out. It's pretty cold out there. Oh. Thank you, Sherry Price. These Division II AAA teams are fantastic. Baylor of 23-22. Or sorry, Roman Academy of 32-23. Well, a lot of great shots of tonight's game, and I would imagine that uh, uh, Anderson County fans will want to give a great shot from Gavin No right there. Uh, you can get great shots of tonight's game and all of our games we've had this year on Rivalry Thursday and Playoff Friday at dhil.photos. Great stuff by my young guy, Dustin, who's been really doing a great job for us all year long. Running that clock down. Matter of fact, a little bit too far. Flag will come in. Dead, dead, dead ball. False start. Offense from 45. Five yard penalty. Still third down. All start Anderson County. One minute 45 seconds. Clock continues to run and a nonstop clock at 38 to 7. Oakland up on Blackman 21 16 as they play in the third. Well, what a stunner that would be if it's Maribel going to Blackman next week instead of Oakland. Oakland's no. still up by five. No, no, yes. I know. But yes, but I mean, yes, it's closer than I think we might have thought as another flag comes in. A sports fly conduct on the offense. The 15 yard penalty has this with the goal for your third down. And Davey Gillum has made his way down to the sideline after being up on the press box the entire game. And they're not going to have to run another play. As the play clock is not started yet, we're under 25 seconds to go. No reason to run a play at 38 to 7. Nobody even mentioned anything about who the six star MVP is, so I guess the truck has figured that out, which is fine. But for the first time since 1996, Anderson County moves to the state semifinals. All the fireworks they had left, shoot them all off. As it's the Mavericks that move on in dominating fashion, 38-7 over Greenville.